It was in the morning, I just took my daughter to her school and on my way back, a stranger attacked me with a knife. He stabbed me nine times, I was seriously injured. What saved my life was a call for help. I cried and then the neighbor heard my cry. I understand how important the call for help is. Sexual assaults in and around the camp. The rapes continue unabated. One in three women have been assaulted. In the U.S., one out of five women on college campuses have been assaulted, and 90% of them don't even report the assault. Every day in the news, there is something about a woman being assaulted. Over 80% of women are now saying that this is a problem they face, so it's really a global epidemic. In today's world, with innovation and technology, we can really tackle any problem that's out there. So that's why Naveen and I launched this Women's Safety X Prize, a million dollar prize that will be awarded to any individual or team who can develop a device that would be able to transmit a location accurate emergency alert, providing a response within 90 seconds, and it should cost under $40. So I'm so excited. Um, we're actually in the last phase of our competition, seeing the final five teams in action. We're here in Mumbai, India, where we're riding the public train system. We put our five finalist teams here to test their devices in a mobile environment, where we're looking at them for their location accuracy, as well as their connectivity. We're a group of students all out of one university in Pennsylvania called Lehigh University. So we built a small hardware device and it works on a dynamic mesh network to make sure that the woman in need doesn't need to have a cell phone so we can reach those who are most at risk. These devices can communicate without internet and they communicate to each other. So we're seeing how they communicate while we're moving on a train. And they work. <laughs> so this is my watch. Here it is. All I've got to do is press the red button and it sends out the SOS alert. We love the fact that you know we got to build something from the scratch and build something which can be, with the help of XPRIZE, taken at a global level and scaled up really fast, real quick. The whole journey has been one hell of a ride. Our team has built a wearable device uh, that detects various vital and physiological parameters and based on that it sends alert to a group of guardians. It can be attached as a band on the arm so you can ha and you can attach it anywhere. You have different detection, different vital signs. It can also provide alert based on heart rate or stress level. So we're receiving data pretty well and we can see on the back end that we're detected on the different train stations that we stopped at. Our device can be worn under clothes and so we thought like okay so how do we trigger it and what we thought of was breathing because even if you're in a dangerous situation you can still breathe so finding the distinct breathing pattern which can trigger the device that took us a lot of time. We came up with the solution that it should be something you can trigger even if both of your hands are restricted. So when you are in trouble, you can find the hidden panic button here. You can just push it. This is the active alert I triggered and the guys are trying to save me. Any help can be life-saving. That's a gift I wanted to give to everyone. It feels like a dream come true to be at the United Nations awarding a winner for women's safety. And the winner is... Lee Wearables! Even if one person is safe because of a product which I've built, that makes me sleep better at night. It's a global epidemic here that we're trying to solve and the sooner we can do it, the better. It will make the world a safer place so everyone knows that they're not alone, that there are people to help, and that the help is there when they need it.